There's a man on the moon, you can count on him. He's getting lunar and his name is Jim. Rover and Ted are by Jim's side. There's adventure ahead and a lunarific ride. Lunar Jim! Ooh, it's colder than a cosmic ice cube in here. You're right, Rover. Lunar winter came early this year. And a chilly morning it is too, Ripple. Is it any warmer in Mission Control? No, but I have some nice hot cocoa. Hot cocoa? Great galaxies! We'll be right over! Ah, nothing like a nice hot cup of cocoa. I'm a technical equipment device, not a refrigerator. Let's check what the temperature is in the Eco Dome. Come in, Eco. Eco here. Hi, everyone. What's up? We're freezing. What's it like in the Eco Dome? It's not chilly here, Ripple. As a matter of fact, it's nice and cosy. But how can that be? It's freezing here and at Jim's house, too. It seems the crystals we got from the Crystal Cave give off both light and heat, just like a lamp. Jim, that's how we can warm things up around here. We need to get more crystals. Jumping Jupiter, you're right, Ripple. Time to do a little crystal collecting at the Crystal Cave. Let's get Luna! If we take the Lunar Hopper, we can bring back lots of crystals in the trailer. Oh, wait for me! I happen to be an expert at finding crystals! <laughs> Almost. Sounds like you're still pretty cold back there. No, I'm not cold. I'm freezing! <laughs> no, that's not the Crystal Cave, Rover. It must be a cave we haven't explored yet. Let's explore it now. Maybe there are warm crystals inside the Vakwent too. Or something warm. Warm rocks. Warm cave bats. I don't, don't care what it is as long as it's warm. Okay, nothing warm here. Let's go. But Ted, what about exploring? Exploring? It's just an empty cave. Instead, let's race to the Crystal Cave, get the crystals, and get back to Moon and Luna before I turn into Icicle Ted. Ted's right, Rover. Next stop, Crystal Cave. These crystals we found in the Crystal Cave will help keep us warm. What do you mean, I sound like a pigeon? I'm not making that noise. Ah! Watch out! It might attack! Save me! Save my crystal! Then save yourselves! Ted, how can you be afraid of a fuzzy little furball like this? It's so cute! I wonder where it came from. Wow! What is that? Ah! Oh! Ow! It must have followed us home from the empty cave. I suppose we should take it back there. First thing in the morning. Oh, but it's so soft and cuddly. And I've always wanted a pet. I know! We can call it Fluffy. Then Fluffy it is. Welcome to Moon Luna, Fluffy. Jim, come in, Jim. Good.
Good morning, Eco. What's all that noise? I can hardly hear you. You'd better come over to the Eco Dome, Jim. You won't believe what's happened. I don't believe it. Where did they all come from? They're multiplying. First there was just one, then two, then four, then eight. Now there are so many, I've lost count. <gasps> They're going to fill the Eco Dome. Then we'd better get them back to their cave at lunar light speed. We can use your wheelbarrow to load them into the hopper, Eco. Mission accomplished. There you go. Home sweet home. It's colder than yesterday. Come on, Rover. Let's get back to Luna Luna where it's nice and warm. I'm going to miss the fluffies. But I know there just wasn't enough room for them here. The Fluffies are back and there are even more of them. They followed you back. What are we going to do? There are too many to carry out in the wheelbarrow. Well, we know they like to follow us, so maybe they'll follow one of us outside and back to their cave. Good idea, Jim. But who's going to go outside and lead the way? Look, everybody! I bet you didn't know I was an expert with wild, fuzzy animals. And they're keeping me warm. <laughs> I think Ted just volunteered. Volunteered? Me? Yes, of course I volunteered. Um, uh, what exactly did I volunteer to do? That's it. Come on, Fluffies. Follow me outside. Come on. Huh? Where did they go? Well, that didn't work. What now? Hmm, there must be another way to get them to follow us. Maybe they're hungry if we hold out food. That might work. Nobody this side of the Milky Way can resist my tasty moon melons. Huh, sounds like they want some, Eco. Come and get some nice juicy moon melon. That's it. We'll go outside. Huh? Now, why did they suddenly run away from me and my delicious moon melons? Hmm. Every time we get them near the door, they run straight back in. I think they want to stay here. But what is it about mission control that they like so much? It's obvious. What the fluff is like is me. <laughs> I think what they like about you, Ted, is your warm crystal. That's it! I think I know what the Fluffies like about Moona Luna. They want to stay here inside because it's warm and their cave is cold. But they still can't stay. They're going to fill the place. Eco's right. It won't be long before there's no room for us. Why don't we give them some of our crystals to warm up their cave? We don't have enough, Eco. We could get more in the crystal cave, but that's a lot of crystals to move. Great galaxies! I've got an idea! Why don't we just move the fluffies to the crystal cave? Good idea, Jim! But how are we going to get them out of here? So, it's my crystal you like, not me! I've got it! Everyone, grab a crystal! See, I told you I was taking you to a nice warm place. <sighs> I don't think they're going to miss me as much as I'm going to miss my warm fluffy fur coat. 